Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can create this really vampy kind of makeup look. So it is perfect for Halloween if you want to be a vampire, but it's also lovely for the winter months. The dark lip is really flattering and in trend. So if you'd like to see how I did it, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm placing an eyeshadow base all over the eyelid and up to the brow bone. Now I'm going to take this really nice sparkly purpley eyeshadow. I'm applying this all over the eyelid with a flat shader brush. So you just want to pack the eyeshadow on top of the base. Next I'm taking a red eyeshadow and I'm going to use a fluffy brush to blend this into the crease. So I'm going to start by adding a little bit of red eyeshadow at a time and I'm actually going to blend this up quite far, quite high up to the brow bone. So just using circular motions and windshield wiper motions. So now I'm taking a cranberry shade and I'm going to apply this into the deepest part of my crease. This is going to add some definition. And I'm also going to blend it down into that dark purple. Now I'm taking a pink eyeshadow and again I'm going to use this to help blend out the red so it's given us a nice transition from the dark red up into the light pink. Now I'm taking a matte kind of cream shade and I'm using this to highlight my brow bone. So now just blend that red up into the highlight shade. So next I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and I'm going to use this to further define the eye. So I'm applying this on the outer corner of the eyelid and I'm going to blend it up into that red. So for the lower lash line I'm going to take that purple shade and it helps I think to look up into a mirror while you're applying it to your lower lash line and then you're just going to connect it to the upper lash line as well. So now I'm just going to line the upper lash line and I'm also going to do a cat eye. Now if you are a beginner or you're not very good at liquid liner, um, something like a felt tip pen like this is going to make uh, the job so much easier for you. Now I'm going to take a gel eyeliner. Now mine's kind of dried out so I'm just taking a bit of jawline and this is going to make it more fluid again. So I'm using this to line my uh, waterline and this is 100% waterproof so it's not going to budge throughout the night. So now to make the eye a bit more smoky I'm taking that black eyeshadow and I'm just running it along the outer portion of the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take my mascara and this one is by Clarins and I really like the uh, mascara wand on this. It helps you to really get into those lashes on the inner corner. So I'm just applying a few layers to my top and bottom lashes. So here is a quick look at the finished eye makeup look. And then now I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm going to start by taking a matte bronzer and I'm using this to contour my cheeks. So I'm going to apply the bronzer in the most hollow part of my cheeks. So this is going to give you a real kind of sunken in vampy look. So I'm going to use circular motions to blend and buff out the bronzer. I'm also going to take it up onto the temples as well. So once I have the bronzer nicely blended out, I'm going to take a blush and I'm using this really nice deep pink shade. So I'm going to take it on an angled brush and I'm going to apply it to my cheeks. Now I'm applying it to the apples of the cheeks and then I'm going to blend it backwards in towards the bronzer that we've already applied. Then I'm going to take a highlighter and I'm putting this on the tops of my cheekbones. The highlighter is also a great way to kind of um, bring down the bronzer and the blusher if you've applied it too high. So lastly I'm taking a deep purple lipstick, any lipstick will do as long as it's a dark colour like a berry shade and I'm applying this to my lips so to give me a more precise application I'm using a lip brush. So if you want to use this makeup for Halloween I'd suggest applying some fake blood to the outer corners of your lips it's going to give you a really nice vampy look. I'm not going to do that because I'm actually going out with this makeup today. So that completes your makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you have a lovely Halloween and I'll see you in my next video.